The last pass story isn't getting any better. This is Mark Miller in New York City with the second installment in a five-part series on the last pass breach of December 2022. In yesterday's update, I talked about the personal dilemma of choosing whether to stay on LastPass or to move to another password manager. Short story is, you know, I still haven't decided yet. But an article in Almost Secure by Vladimir Palant pretty much is a game changer for me. The article breaks down the PR statement from LastPass, and to put it mildly, it ain't looking good, folks. In short, Vladimir shows how LastPass is playing past the hot potato with cloud servers and ends up by insinuating that you, the end user, are ultimately responsible for the problem if you don't follow their rules. Another point that Vladimir brings up is how long did it take to export millions, yes, millions of vaults from LastPass, and that URL addresses weren't encrypted, and that LastPass was storing your IP addresses, and, well, you get the picture. Here's what Vladimir puts it. This prepares the ground for blaming the customers. LastPass should be aware that passwords will be decrypted for at least some of their customers. And they have a convenient explanation already. These customers clearly didn't follow their, LastPass's, best practices. The nail in the coffin is the final statement from LastPass. There are no recommended actions that you need to take at this time. What? Really? Nothing? This is just gross negligence, Vladimir states, and I have to agree with him. I'll follow up on the story tomorrow, but in the meantime, go to episode number 42 at 505updates.com for links to the PR statement from LastPass and Vladimir's analysis of that statement. It's time for you to decide what to do. Listen to today's entire episode of It's 505 on your favorite podcast platform.